Hello, virtual learners. Today's story is called Sneezy the Snowman. Have you heard this story before? It's a pretty popular one. Sometimes there will be stories that I read that you might have heard before, but hearing the same story more than one time is actually really good for your brain. Usually when I read a story one time, I notice some things, but when I read it over and over, I notice new things every time. I hope you notice some fun things in this story. It was written by Maureen Wright and illustrated by Stephen Gil Gilpin. It's a P. I was thinking it was a B for a second. Now, if it says it was illustrated by this person, what does it mean? What is an illustration? An illustration is just a fancy word for a drawing. So the illustrator is the person who did the pictures for this story. I hope you like them. Sneezy the Snowman. It's a dedication, just like our story on Tuesday, with gratitude to my editor, Marguerite Coiler, for Angie. So when they wrote this book, and they illustrated this book, they did it for someone special to them. Sneezy the snowman shivered. Brr, it's cold in he out here, that's for sure. I need a drink to warm me up. So, what do you think they have? He drank cocoa from a cup. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then, right there, believe it or not, he melted from drinking something too hot. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, make me brand new. So I want you to notice something from this. Right here, the words that the snowman said when he was a puddle, make me brand new. The illustrator also put those into a speech bubble in the picture. Ah. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew, a cold winter wind swirled and blew. Have you noticed something about this book so far? Flew, blue, those words rhyme. When words end with the same sounds, they're rhyming words. Keep listening and you'll hear more of them throughout the story. The snowman sneezed a giant achoo! I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little girl said, then let's share. I have something you can. Let's see, sh, air, w, air, where? Here's my hat to put on your head. You look awesome, the children. Hmm. Rhymes with head, the children s-ed. There you go. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The stocking cap was a nice surprise eyes. Yeah. But Sneezy the snowman shivered. Brr, it's cold out here, that's for sure. I'm freezing every minute. I'll find a hot tub and sit right in it. Ooh, is this a good idea? If hot chocolate made him melt, what would a hot tub do? Make your prediction. A prediction is a smart guess. Now let's keep reading and see. He found one and smiled. I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from sitting in water to, okay, so I said n -ot. The water is too hot. Not hot, those words rhyme. The children cried out, what should we do? A voice from the hot tub said, make me brand new. What should we do? Make me brand new, do new, good job. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew, a cold winter wind swirled and blew, flew, blew. Achoo! The snowman sneezed a giant achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering too. A little boy said, then let's share. I have something you can wear. Share, wear, good job. Here's my scarf that's red and blue. I think it would look great on, hmm. Great on blue, snowman? Oh, blue. You, those words rhyme. 
The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. A colorful, colorful scarf was a nice sir prize. Surprise eyes. They rhyme. It went very well with the long pink hat. The children all said, what about that? But Sneezy the snowman shivered. Brr. It's cold out here. That's for sure. Brr, sure. You got it. I need to feel warmth on me. There's a campfire by that. Oh, a campfire is by a me tree. He said with a smile, I like this a lot. And then right there, believe it or not, he melted from standing beside something hot. The children cried out, cried out, what should we do? A voice from the puddle said, what does it say? What does it say? Make me brand new. Ooh, those words rhyme. You've got it. They rebuilt Sneezy as snowflakes flew. A cold winter wind swirled and... Have you noticed that this story keeps having the same parts over and over again? I love that in a story because I know exactly what's coming next. Achoo! The snowman sneezed a giant achoo. I'm sneezing and freezing and shivering. Two, a little girl said. Then let's share. I have something you can wear. Here's my coat, the perfect fit. I know that you'll look good in... It. The snowman blinked his coal black eyes. The bright orange coat was a nice surprise. It went very well with the scarf and hat. The children all said, what about hat that? Yeah, good job. You guys have got these rhyming words. But Sneezy said, I'm way too hot. I'll take off all the new clothes I've got. See how it's getting a little bit smaller. The children yelled, no, that's not the way. Listen to what we have to say, way say, good job. Buy something cold at the ice cream store. Have two scoops or three or, what would rhyme with store? What would rhyme with store? Two, three or store four. God, ooh, that's a really cool ice cream store. Sneezy ate ice cream seven scoops high. <gasps> Let's count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my word. I love ice cream. I don't think I could ever eat seven scoops though. Point to the one that looks most delicious to you. I think the top one is cookie dough. I would point right there. Mm -hmm. This is great, the snowman cried. I'm not too cold and I'm not too hot and I'm wearing clothes I like a... Uh... Hot lot. Good job. Then, after eating every bite, he said, At last, I feel just right. Great job with the story today, listening for those rhyming words and trying to figure out what would belong in the story. I hope you enjoyed Sneezy the Snowman.